Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. You could already see my preview video about the LEGO Technic 2024 January Wave. Now here is the first set I'm reviewing, the 42167 Mac LR electric garbage truck. The box isn't particularly exciting. On the front we see the garbage truck on a simple city street doing its job. On the back some functions are explained, but I think we would like to see this in action, so let's open the box. The set has 503 pieces. On paper it will be released on the 1st of January, but can already be purchased at some retailers. The recommended retail price is $33 or €35. Euros. All other local prices can be found at the link above or in the description. Isn't that perfect? Paper bags in the garbage truck. We got 4 paper bags, the instructions and the sticker sheet. These bags feel funny, the contents will be a surprise. It's a new experience to tear them open, it's not so easy to follow the perforation and Ok, we are not quite there yet, a plastic bag inside the paper bag. The goal is 2025, let's hope the transition is completed by then. One of the benefits of these bags is the fact that they can be left on the table without spilling the parts, but I'm not sure how useful that is for the average builder. What do you think? As this is a set for children, there is no additional information in the instructions. At the end there is a comparison photo with the real model and a short demonstration of the functions, then the parts list follows. Now let's start building. An interesting warning at step 4, we need to use this short black beam here and not the rubber piece with the cross axle holes, but that one comes in another bag later, so some may find this warning unnecessary. But remember, this is a set for kids and it can be useful if you rebuild a set with all the parts in a pile. The steering system uses this relatively new cross block piece, which could become common on vehicles of this scale. This is how the steering will work. This excellent pin connector is not new in reddish brown, but this is the first time it has appeared in a Technic set in this color. I'm curious to see if it will be visible in the final result. Now we can see how one of the functions will work, namely the base of the unloading mechanism. Here is our build at the end of bag 1. The packaging is clearly in the middle of the transition. In the first bag there was a small plastic bag, but in this one we only find smaller paper bags. The first stickers are applied, this will be the grill section. It's pretty obvious by now, but if you are new to LEGO then I will spare you a comment. The white stickers still don't match the color of the plastic, this seems to be one of the manufacturing puzzles that LEGO can solve. The cabin is taking shape, nothing revolutionary, but it looks good. The hand of god steering wheel knob is in place, and we will also have small but functional doors. This assembly might be a challenge for the target audience. Pay attention to the alignment of the gears, this is how it should look in the end. Here is the new knob gear that will appear in some 2024 sets. The cross axle hole is rotated 45 degrees, which simplifies many mechanisms. I would love to see a similarly offset version for other gears that can be used for steering systems for example. As you can see, the new knob gear is needed to keep the two gripper arms in a symmetrical position. With two identical gears, one of them would be offset by 45 degrees, and if we used gears with more teeth, there would always be a smaller but visible difference. This is how the mechanism works. When we rotate the axle, the arms are closed first, and then when we continue the rotation, the container is lifted, then the arms are pulled back into the base position by the rubber band. Bags restarts with a surprising amount of system elements. We assemble the chute that guides the waste into the container. Knobs and levers are now installed to operate the functions. We have quite dense assemblies at this scale, this will be the upper part of the vehicle. It's time to mount the wheels, then comes the last bag. At this stage we get a nice amount of red half pins and again some system elements. The box takes shape, then comes the rear door and a few tiles and stickers later we can put it in place. The last element is this bin with some garbage in it and we are done. So here's the finished model. It's pretty small, but it's impressive to see how this functionality is achieved at this scale. There is a picture of the real truck in the instructions. Considering the size and parts used, it's pretty close to the model. What functions do we have? First of all, the hand of god steering works well, although turning at the end of a road can be a challenge. The doors open, but the cabin is tiny, the seat appears to be minifig scale, but these guys certainly won't fit in it. The side loader can grab, lift and tip the garbage can. Then there's the orange lever to unload the trash. It works quite reliably for me, unlike others, maybe it's worth double checking all the connections. Catching the round tiles is more of a challenge, be prepared to search for them under the table every time. You only get one pair of each color, so be careful. Ok, it's time to talk about two controversies that came up after the unveiling of the set. 
The first is less problematic in my opinion. Some people thought the word electric in the name could be misleading because children would think it was a motorized set. When we consider the price, the size of the box and the lack of any indication of motors or battery requirements, I don't think anyone with a basic knowledge of LEGO technique would expect this set to be powered in any way. A lot of people complain that LEGO sets are oversimplified, the instructions have two basic steps and then we expect people to not understand the word electric properly here. I don't think that's a big problem, but then there's the other thing. An automated garbage truck was submitted to LEGO Ideas in 2019, reached 10,000 supporters, but wasn't selected in the end. It's a system built in city scale, but the concept of the sideloader garbage truck and the grabbing mechanism look similar to this one. It's not the same, but it has the same concept. So was this set inspired by the idea submission? We don't know and probably never will. I think if you gave this task to a LEGO Technic designer or an experienced custom builder, they would come up with a similar mechanism without any background information or research. I think this situation shows more a problem with the whole LEGO idea system. There will always be successful submissions that don't get selected and then similar LEGO sets might be released. Maybe LEGO should set a time frame of 2, 3 or 4 years where they don't release anything similar to the 10k projects and if they do, the fan designer should be compensated somehow. This is just a quick idea that may not work at all. I see more of a conceptual problem here than the reality of technique designers closely following all successful ideas projects and using their solutions. All in all, I think this is a decent set for the price. It might be a challenge for an 8 year old to build, but they will definitely like the end result and functionality. The new knob gear is a nice addition to the family and I hope LEGO's R&D department never stops looking for a better shade of white for the stickers to match the color of the plastic. Please let me know your thoughts folks in the comment section. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications because there will be more exciting LEGO videos coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.